the family that prays together stays together. Welcome to this moment as we share the word of God and more so sharing the feast of the divine mercy. My name is Dennis Miner, Life Coach Dennis. I am so excited today that we are able to share and celebrate the Divine Mercy Sunday. It is one of the tenets that uh, uh, St. Faustina was able to release the message from her diary to the whole world that the Lord requires of us to celebrate this Divine Mercy Sunday as a day where we are able to be forgiven from all forms of sin and iniquity. Uh, this was a humble nun who accepted the calling of the Lord to just go into the convent and serve the Lord with her life. But one of the most beautiful things is that despite her humble beginnings, the Lord began speaking to her, which is recorded in her diary that is a recording of all the divine mercy instructions, that in these last days, the Lord desires mercy. He does not desire revenge, he does not re re desire vengeance, but he desires mercy. And the only hope for the world today is that we can come to the place of mercy. And so today I want to teach you, I cannot teach the whole of the divine mercy uh, in these few minutes, but I can teach you a few basic things that are concerned with the divine mercy. So number one, St. Faustina was requested by the Lord to be able to inform the world that from Good Friday, a divine mercy novena to be stated that ends on Holy Saturday. Holy Saturday, that is nine days from Good Friday to, uh, to Easter Saturday. Sorry, not Holy Saturday, but Easter Saturday. So after the nine days of immersing different kinds of sinners into the mercy of God, it culminates with the celebration of the Divine Mercy Sunday, where the Lord promised that he will forgive any iniquity. And these are the ABCs that are required for the, us to receive this mercy. Number one, A, ask so every one of us is supposed to ask for mercy. Number two is be, be merciful. As we ask for mercy because everyone is going to be forgiven, it is important also that we share the same mercy with the rest of the world, meaning that we need to forgive. We need to be compassionate as the Lord has been compassionate. The Beatitude says, blessed are the merciful. So will you be merciful as the Lord is going to forgive you today? And the third one is C. Be commit commitment to trusting God. So the Lord requires us that the only cup in his diary, it is written that the only cup that can be able to draw mercy is trust. That we can be able to trust. And that's why the image of the divine mercy, you will always find it, it has uh, the image of Jesus as was dictated to St. Faustina. She drew the image of Jesus. And out of his heart, there, is, there are two rays. One is red and one is blue. So the red one indicating the blood of Jesus that compassionately washes all our iniquity. And the, uh, the blue one that is the bl water from the side of Jesus, that is the water of baptism that also cleanses from all sin. So the Lord is an abyss of mercy and he desires that the world may come and receive from this mercy. And I want to talk about the other parts of the, the divine mercy. So I have talked about the feast of the divine mercy. I have talked about the, now there is also the chaplet of divine mercy and the holy hour from 3 to 4 p.m. every single day. So the chaplet of divine mercy, the Lord said that it can be recited on this particular holy hour so that the, all people can be brought to the mercies of God. And there's a beautiful promise that comes with the chaplet of divine mercy. That is, a, even if someone is in, in, the, in the incidence of death, and you pray the divine mercy for them. The Lord will open up his heart of mercy and they will be received. So eternal Father, we offer you body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world. May the Lord be merciful to us as we celebrate this fundamental day, the divine mercy Sunday, and the whole world to be forgiven of our sins and us be merciful as we choose to trust him. Thank you and God bless you.